Okay, let's take a look at how to diagnose a New Holland TN series tractor. Uh, we're here now in the gel test AGV agricultural system. Uh, I'm going to take you into the tractor portion and you can quickly just type in the brand. I can see New Holland. You know, if I wanted to search specifically for the TN series, I can. Just showing you, we've got a lot of New Holland coverage here. I mean, it kind of goes all the way throughout. We'll just kind of go quickly here even now. We'll get down to the TN series. And then here we can see the capabilities we've got with the TN series. So certainly we can uh, run a system scan. Uh, we've even got manual diagnostics if you have the actual code. Um, and then we'll get into diagrams, some technical data, and then some releases and procedures. Uh, those releases and procedures are, you know, the way we diagnose uh, this TN series is we actually connect our diagnostic tool to it. Um, and then we're actually running the, uh, you know, the New Holland uh, system right from our, um, your laptop. So let me, uh, we've got the procedures on how to do that. So first let's, uh, let's just show you, I guess, how to, how to connect, uh, run a system scan and what that looks like. So here we go to connect. It gives you a sense of the, uh, the way to actually connect. So obviously you've got to connect the USB port. Uh, use the the power supply in this case on the TN tractor uh, to be able to to do that, and then it shows you the the cable. So you got the JDC 100 and the JDC 508.9 is how we're going to connect. So we're going to connect with that connection there. Uh, there is an alternate way to do that depending on uh, your setup. It could be the 508A on uh, the 213.9. Uh, just depends on how you're actually hooking up to your machine. Uh, so anyways, when you pick the uh, the cable itself, uh, I can then hit scan. So hit next. <clears throat> so now it's, when we're connected, it's having a look at the, the fault codes that are in the, the system uh, or the systems that are in there. So let's just take the transmission, uh, which in your case, I know you're looking at. So here you can see when you're connected, it, you've got to be able to run through the transmission menu actually through the CNH to function it. Uh, and it tells me here, I've got to have a look uh, the technical release uh, but if I want to see information related to a fault uh, I could just press here and actually type the fault code and it's going to give it to me um, here if I come back there's actually release and procedure specific to this New Holland machine uh, again all machines are a little bit different to connect to and uh, the New Holland one is uh, a little bit different than some of our others so here we've got a release it shows you just how to actually do things like calibrating clutches, reading calibration data, parameters, ECU, diagnosing the controller switches, uh, config the fill-up time of a clutch, uh, low and high, um, data clearance, clutch pedal signal, oil temperature, uh, position mode, range shift, and fault reading, right? So in your case, you want to do the fault reading. You know, the codes are stored. And the controller can be read. Once you get it, you can actually clear it just by hitting the, the down button there, uh, the arrow down to, to clear it. Um, so in your case, you're looking to kind of go in and clear, but also go beyond. I mean, you can do that, right? So I'm not connected. Um, if I could actually go in and read the code, it would, it would tell me uh, what that code is and then actually be able to clear it. So in this case, uh, I'll take you into, you know, some of the system technical data. Uh, you can see, you know, what the different technical codes or information that's here, be it wiring your diagram. So, you know, I want to see the, the brake signal, for example, um, or whatever it is I'm, I'm trying to get into. Right, so here's my wiring diagram. Very visual. Everything's very click through. Uh, you know, I'm needing to see my speed signal on here. It's going to bring it up for me or the engine speed signal. Uh, I'm trying to understand what different components are of my diagram. It'll pop up as soon as I put my cursor over it. So got you the full, you know, the wiring diagram for the, you're in the transmission unit at this point because um, that's where we went to, to see here first. But I want to see technical data. You know, it's going to depend on the specific um, transmission here we're looking at, the TN series. You know, these are older, very, <clears throat> it appears anyways, like more of a mechanical unit. Um, but we've got uh, some technical data available on them. Uh, I don't know if I'm clicking something wrong here. There we go. Yeah. 
So, you know, there's some generic uh, engine information on that specific uh, engine, injector stuff, some of the tightening torques, if you've got any work to do, capacities, uh, the electrical system. So like some basic information, technical um, system, technical data, uh, as I described, very much just the wiring diagram. So, you know, when it comes to the transmission, I mean, it's, it's fairly basic uh, what we're able to do to describe some of that clutch work and that. But let's go back even further uh, and disconnect and let's just have a look at, say, like the engine component. Uh, the powertrain here, so let's have a look at the, the powertrain. All right, so same thing. We can go and diagnose those faults, see what they are, clear it, uh, get some basic uh, engine information and torques and capacities, and then obviously the uh, releases and procedures to be able to function the um, CNH system. And again, you got to be plugged in to run these. Uh, you can diagnose that controller, um, the memory, forward actuation, fault reading, um, some of the ECU data, software version, diagnose of the controller switches, uh, automatic four-wheel drive, manual four-wheel drive, left brake, right brake, uh, PTO, downhill switches. You got some measurements you can do, be able to check different measurements of the control unit, like battery voltage, front axle speed, uh, rear voltage, you know, and this is when you go into like H9, but it'll give you all those different components. We have to you have to have our system connected to be able to get in and find out what it is, but you'll be able to use it to, to actually read that information. So if I went back and, you know, I was going into uh, menu H9, for example, this is where I'd be able to, to see what that is. And here's the, oh, all right, if I'm actually functioning that and I'm connected to the tractor, this is where I'd be able to get the different data on the, uh, on the machine. So it's a little bit different. It's a it's an older tractor, it appears, uh, but we can connect, we can clear, we can help you know what the fault codes are, give you some basic information around the uh, components, some diagnostics, uh, and that's what we can do on a New Holland uh, TN series tractor.